Hello, this is the problem of religion. Atheists always say, show me the evidence, you have the burden of proof. But then they're not willing to do the work to get the proof. It's like saying, prove to me that going to the gym and exercising will give me big muscles. But then they refuse to go and exercise for six months or a year, and they won't take anybody else's word for it either. That's the problem of religion. There is proof to be had. But it's only my proof. It's not a photograph, a videotape, it's not an object I can give you, it's personal experience. I have my proof, but what proof would an atheist accept? And what would they be willing to do to get it? My point is, there, there is evidence that you can get. The Bible says something like, Knock and the door shall be opened to you. Seek and you shall find. And there's a parable about a man who pounded on his neighbor's door in the middle of the night asking for food to serve a, a family member that had arrived in the night unexpectedly. And the neighbor was unwilling. He was trying, you know, call me in the morning, let me go to sleep. And the man kept pounding and pounding on the door until eventually the neighbor came to the door and gave him some food. And that's what you need to do when you pray. You need to pray. Um, well, if you're looking for evidence, faith is not going to be a huge component of it. But you need to pray, you need to pray some more, you need to keep on praying, you need to pray with faith, and at the end of that, then you will receive the proof that you need. But the atheists won't do this, and why should they? I mean, they believe, they believe people who are convinced that there's a God are just brainwashed, that it's a lie, an elaborate hoax, and they won't spend two minutes a day for maybe several months in order to gain the proof that may require them to follow rules that they don't agree with. And this is the problem of religion. Uh, that and the fact that I've heard, and it's my own experience, that the holy books, now I haven't read many of them, but all the holy books have a piece of the truth. And they have wisdom that was far beyond their time at the point that they were written but the simple fact of the matter is they also have lies and or mistakes I mean I, the Bible has well it, 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 it has some some flaws of logic in it which I'll go into at some other point but the simple fact of the matter is you have to read all the holy books at least that's what I hear and pick out the pieces of truth and assemble them uh, the lies are put in there, I'm told, on purpose to protect the truth from people who would profane it. Now, that personally does not make sense to me. Um, it would make a lot more sense that the faithful would have access to everything. But then you notice evil people seem to be a lot more motivated. So maybe it's the right way to go.